John Wayne, Marriott Robert Morrison. Winter set. Ironwatt, the United States, May 26, 1907, Los Angeles, California, USA. June 11, 1979 Popularly known as The Duke The Duke was an actor American who began his career in silent film in the 1920s. He was the symbol of the rugged and masculine. He was also an American icon and symbol of America for many decades. The distinctive timbre of his voice the way he walks, and his physical presence are memorable. His catchphrase John Wayne is America is famous as is his conservative political stance and his support for the anti-communist political positions of the 1950s. He holds the record for the most leading roles in film history with 142. In 1999, the American Film Institute awarded him number 13 on their list of the 100 greatest stars of all time. The Harris Poll published in 2007 ranked him third among America's favorite stars. The only star now deceased in the poll and at the same time the only star who had been appearing in it every year. His film career began in the silent film in the 1920s, but his success and fame were consolidated between the 1940s and 1970s. His image has been associated, for many, with the Western and war films, despite the fact that in he actually worked in many other genres biographies, romantic comedies crime promise, adventures, etc. He passed away on June 11, 1979, just 16 days after his 72nd birthday, from cancer. His family was Presbyterian. Her father, Clive Leonard Morrison, was of Scots and Irish descent and the son of an American Civil War veteran, while her mother, Mary Alberta Brown, was of Irish descent. In 1911 the whole family moved to Glendale, California. It was Glendale residents who started calling Wayne Big Duke because he was always with his Airedale Terrier dog which was called Little Duke. He preferred Duke to Marion, which is why this name stuck with him for the rest of his life. John Wayne was a member of the Demolary Order. His family was Presbyterian. His father, Clive Leonard Morrison, was of Scots and Irish descent and the son of an American Civil War veteran while his mother, Mary Alberta Brown, was of Irish descent. In 1911 the whole family moved to Glendale, California. It was Glendale residents who started calling Wayne Big Duke because he was always with his Airedale Terrier dog, which was called Little Duke. He preferred Duke to Marion which is why this name stuck with him for the rest of his life. John Wayne was a member of the Demolary Order. His early years were marked by poverty. Duke was a good and popular student. Tall for his age, he was a star football player in Glendale High School and was recruited by the University of Southern California USC. 
at this university he was a member of the Trojan Knights and joined the Sigma Chi fraternity. The young Morrison also played on the college football team under legendary coach Howard Jones. An injury apparently sustained while swimming cut off his athletic career. And he, too, lost his athletic scholarship. So he was unable to complete his studies at USC. His first leading role was after two years working at William Fox Studios in the 1930 film The Big Trail. The film's director, Raoul Walsh who discovered Wayne gave him the John Wayne stage name for American Revolutionary War General Anthony Wayne. Stuntman taught him horseback riding and other skills used in Western movies. Starting in 1928 and for the next 35 years, Wayne would appear in more than 20 John Ford films including Stagecoach 1939 The Invincible Legion 1949 The Quiet Man 1952 The Searchers 1956 The Wings of Eagles 1957 and The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance 1962 John Wayne suffered from cancer, a disease that was attributed to the radiation to which he had been exposed in 1956 during the filming of the historical film The Conqueror of Mongolia. This film was shot in the Utah desert, near a nuclear testing field and the film crew was unaware of the possible consequences of its exposure to radioactive dust. The film's co-star, Susan Hayward, also died of cancer, as did Mexican actor Pedro Armendariz, Agnes Moorhead, as well as more than 40 other members of the film crew. In September 1964 he was diagnosed with lung cancer and underwent surgery to remove his leg, lung and two ribs. From this treatment he survived. In 1966, he and Pyler were still married, but only officially, since she had gotten tired of following him to all the places where the films in which she starred were filmed. He moved from Encino to Newport Beach. Wayne was married three times. His wives were Josephine Delachia Sands of Spanish descent whom he divorced in 1945 Esther Bauer whom he divorced in 1954 and Pilar Palatade whom he was still married to when he died in 1979. 